How you going, Taurus? I hope you're daily reading for today. I hope you're happy, healthy, you're feeling loved. You can't split out everywhere. Um, if it doesn't fit, don't force it. Yeah, it's not how it works. Find what resonates. If it doesn't resonate, leave it at the door. If it does resonate, please give me a like, subscribe, a comment. Um, these three different decks. So we're going to put triple emphasis, let alone double emphasis on the spiritual message. It gives spirit a chance to put that message across different ways. Um, other than that, we're going to get straight onto it. The card that jumped out is the Temperance Angel. Yeah, always watching over keeping you safe. It's a matter of divine timing, patience, blending of energies. See how he blends the energies of that sun and that earth there? It shows like uh, the uh, the blending of the masculine to the feminine energies of of human and having those um, that temperance within ourselves and that duality and amalgamation, I suppose. Yeah, protect your energy at the present moment. What's trying to come out? Protect your energy, especially around broken hearts, um, any type of past sort of stuff. Um, so you're trying to come out. Uh, but the temperance in itself is fluidity of time, and, and that's like divine timing. That's like the perpetual motion of life. Yeah, what goes around comes around, but it's more like um, sacred flow. Um, it like multiple solutions it's like walking the middle path and nourishing yourself with wholeness that's like the best way to put it uh taurus you're a cultivating self-reliant soul who is um very enjoyment is in your values um through uh natural through natural na natural through natural like response in itself yeah they're a very resourceful soul uh, that i'm talking to um tauruses they're very grateful they're sensual they're affluent they're supportive they're frugal it can be a little stubborn at times. That's the truth. Uh, we've got to be honest about it. Um, very self-reliant. Very self-reliant. Okay. Beautiful. It's like um, if you're waiting on love or love in itself, let's say it's divine timing or patience is needed, but that's also friendship, family, collaborations, things like that. Um, the Three of Cups is... The Two of Cups is two people offering love. The Three of Cups... There's your card there. Um... <laughs> Um, <laughs> the three of cups in itself is, um, like families, friendship, even the, even the card, yeah, it's three friends having a good old time, the Triskel on the back, which sort of shows the laws of three of our universe, um, you know, as above, so below, even though it's two, but it's more like, um, the, the heavenly father, the Holy Ghost and, and our soul, um, and how they work together as we are beings on the planet, walking through the universe, having their human human experience is the best way to put it yeah that should complete somebody make somebody whole very happy um the way that they just come out look at the pretty dress <laughs> um three of cups is a beautiful card to have what do we got here in numerology if we take the uh 14 with the three that's 17 one plus seven is um eight that gives manifestations in numerology abundance leadership career and karma <laughs> But it's manifestations in theory, okay? Um, the Three of Cups is a beautiful card to have. We know cups are emotion and yeah, cups are um, love. And that's what the universe is built on. In itself, what do we got under the deck? Oof, don't allow stupid thoughts to trap you in your mind. Um, if anybody's playing on that mind or, or any tricks or any type of energies, um, just remember that we can release those things. With um, That's why the protection energy came out before with the broken heart. Um, the things that play on your mind, yeah? Look, there's blood spilled on those rocks. Focus. There it is. Focus. Focus. Anyway, there's blood spilled on the rocks there um, in the background there, but it's like hollow victories, teasing, trickery, uh, in the way of hollow victories, gossip, um, things where they don't need to be there. Like those seven deadly sins, um, that would be um, gossip, gluttony, something around there in itself of... Um, up on those in a second um but we don't we don't want that stuff in our head we don't need that devilish energy we want to wake up positive and happy and smiling and beautiful every day and have those beautiful that sacred connection with the universe and and, and transform every day see the butterfly shows a transformation this is a social butterfly this is the this is the dream everybody wants to wake up like that happiness positive and, you know, you connect into this sacred siblinghood of universe with an expansive experience of witnessing through time. And what is time but fluidity comes back to that temperance there of itself. Um, and time's not real in itself. Um, that's the truth. There's only, there's only right now, like right now, as the second one passed again, right now, right now, right now, right now. Um, and that's the truth. There's no such thing as time. Time is a, a unit of uh, measurement. Uh, if we didn't have time, we wouldn't know where we were last week. 
uh, let alone where we're going to be next next week because there's no time to tell us where we're going to be at that time in life. Yeah, There's no such thing as time other than the exact time that we have right now. And that is the truth. Beautiful. They're all fighting for that light. This is competition in itself. It's... Um, pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to the signs, Taurus, and the synchronicities. Um, with that five of wands there, I'm going to tell you something all right, about that. That's competition, conflict. It can be a lot of ambition. See, they're all trying to get it. We're fighting to get to that light, by the way, in that card there. But it can be challenged. It can be being pushed by others to excel. That's what I get from that card. It's like trying to... Everybody's trying to get it. Yeah, everybody's trying to get it. It can be brainstorming, mental jousting. We did have that um, that card there. It was playing on the head of the broken heart before that. Um can be adrenaline and aggression. Um, it can be your limits, like surpassing them, but it can be also dynamic um, energy. This card, right, it's, it screams to me something. Eh? It screams like what um, what challenges are holding you back in life at 0606 on the clock. Double emphasis on love. Um, we got um, this card here underneath the deck here. Now have a look, see? Zoom. Come on. I don't know, I'm going to have to clean the screen or something, maybe. It's doing so many videos, it's not funny. Uh, but it's a matter of ascension, see how he's manifesting through his thoughts, okay? You can see in the background there, if it zoom in, all the signs that are coming out of him. There are a lot of signs coming out of him at the moment, yeah? Um, you're in the right path of what you're thinking. Yeah, release any fears at the present moment, any illusions. The, the moon will highlight things we can't see. And what is the moon but emotion, yeah, as we're talking about that emotion already in those cups. Uh, but yeah, in itself, we, we, we rise together in an accelerated harmony because that's what I get out of harmony, friendship, and then them rising up. We rise together in accelerated harmony. This is my Trials and Tribulations card. Oh, healthy boundaries. And that's exactly where you would be, okay? You'd learn the lessons in life of the Trials and Tribulations of the 1 through to the 10 and then step off using the page um, and the, the, the night being erratic, the page being messages, but stepping off in that new direction and knowing who you are as a soul and having healthy boundaries in place, especially if you're coming out of conflict. Uh, that just, that's a gift of inspiration for somebody right there. But if you're coming out of conflict in itself, um, balancing that temperance angel there and having that balance and having those healthy boundaries that so we don't build walls because walls people keep, keep people out, um, but boundaries keep things safe. Um, keep things the way they're supposed to be. Uh, trust your intuition at the present moment. That is um, your interconnectedness. See the web above that flame there, which looks like a woman's. Uh, but you can see that um, it's like the, the interconnectedness of us all, yeah. And, um, and it's on fire at the present moment, isn't it? Um, we can see that you turn your back on all, all the betrayals in life, um, all the, the horrible nines of sleepless nights and anxieties and depressions and the, the eights of um, like being trapped and manipulated and you know and, and being tied down and held down in life where we don't need that. We want to be free souls, yeah? And then the seven is like the trickeries, the thieves, the liars, the deceptions. Um, and then the fives are the hollow victories and the frees of the broken hearts and the twos are those choices where you can't make them and they're stalemates and the four, well, that's healing, isn't it? And the six is pulling you towards karma water so you can pull out of that stuff, see? But once you get to the ten of swords, that is um, the completion is completely over. Somebody should trust their um, intuition on that one because that's on fire at four, four on the clock. Yeah, look at this. Several knights just popped out of the deck here. We have the Knight of Adventure, the Pursuit of Adventure. Yeah, the uh, charismatic, be to your own drum, be unapologetically yourself energy. And then we have that saves the day with that beautiful hero energy as he sprints towards his excellence. And underneath that, we have the Cup of Love and somebody skilled up like many, many moons they've built being that beautiful person that they are. Oh, there's love. I didn't see that. That was hidden away and it's a gift of abundance. That love is a gift, yeah, and it really is a gift, isn't it? Like, um, in itself, the whole universe is built on love, so, you know, having that, that, that abundance and that gift is a beautiful, beautiful thing to do, um, Taurus, especially being a self-reliant, resourceful, grateful person that you are. Um, boom. Everything. Going within. We have a nine, we have an ace and then a nine. 
two nines. Either way, nine and nine plus nine is still 18. Okay, nine times nine is 18, 81. And so either way, it's always going to break down the numerology to a completion in some sort of way. Compassion, forgiveness, humanitarianism, completion. It will always come down with nine, nine, nine. It's a beautiful card to have. Okay, it's like... um. Protect your energy at the present moment. See, she's got boundaries in place. This doesn't mean stand there and fight people. You can see all the bond, the bonds pointing at her. Yeah, what it means is like protect your smile. You don't want people to come along and steal your smile. You work, work hard on who you are in order to be the beautiful person you are. Why would you want people to come along to steal that smile? Especially not a beautiful smile. And not a smile that can change the world. Yeah? That's what that card means. And be zen, be happy, trust your gut feelings, your cynicisms and things like that. They come around your gut. You know, trust your third eyes and the things that, you know, are on fire to you at the time and, you know, and trust that divine source of that crown chakra and have that kundalini that comes all the way down and just inflames you as it builds you up to be the beautiful person you are. And that's what you want to protect. That doesn't mean go out and fight people and stand back and fight, 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 fight. It means fight for your smile. That's the best way to put it, yeah? Fight for your smile, yeah? From that guy. I literally could just pull this straight up, you know, and, and that illusion, you know, because we want to release them fears in life. And, and all that sadness and you know yeah obviously you go through life you know we get to learn our trials and tribulations in life and all of these things here that fall through the foundations because you couldn't even bother that with that one to kick that out and you can see there's astral light there's always love wherever you find it sometimes you may need to turn around and look for it but it's always there so we go through these lessons in life to be able to level us up to be able to trust our intuition more yeah and that's what i'm saying with this bad boy here trust that intuition permitting going within you know and having that inner reflection into you as a soul because that's what she's doing, man. She's being Zen and having that meditation. Because that's what she's doing, man. This is what this card, this card means. And contemplation, soul searching, inner wisdom, spiritual mental experience. But finding your guide within, finding your spirit guide, finding your spirit animal, finding your love, finding your anything that you want to find, finding God, finding your ancestors and spirit guides and everything that make you who you are. But this is a card of taking you away from its chaos of life and chaos of itself and hermiting, taking the time out for yourself. That doesn't mean shut yourself off with walls. That means be unapologetically yourself, but just do it in a quiet way and while you're thinking how to correspond with the universe. And like if you had a question for your inner sage, inner seer, inner muse, what would it be? And that's like the question where you come in and you meditate on it and you, you come back and you have that beautiful time as you walk towards that light, see? And that, that basically is I, I witness my brightly lit heart. That's a beautiful way to put it. As long as you give yourself permission to take the time out and don't feel guilty about it as well. Beautiful! This is an entrepreneur. This is somebody who's beautiful. Somebody's in the right direction here. Um, he's a beautiful. This is this is that natural born leader. That's the best way to put that. Because that's the last card before we flip the deck, yeah? Before we flip the deck, yeah? Co-creating with the universe in itself. But we can see that there. With the King of Wands. King of Wands is a beautiful king to have. Um, he's Yeah, he's a natural born leader, okay? And, and he's like... He'll protect that energy. He'll also do it in divine timing, but he'll do it in a beautiful way. He's a creative visionary. He's a sex successful ideation of what fearlessness is. He is timelessness in itself. And he builds an empire of light to build together with the universe. And as he runs towards his goals, he has small details, you know, and he, 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 he systematically puts him into an approach so that way he can become that entrepreneurial spirit. See the courage of that line on his um, shoulder there? It shows that he he has strength within him. Okay, see the chameleon of the, um, the lizard on his chest? It shows that he can blend into any um, background and he can blend into any... That's what I mean. He's a natural born leader. So he can take on many forms in his life. He can do many, many things. Um, and that's the best, best part about that energy. Um, but he's a he's a visionary. That's the best way to put it. He's a visionary and he's a natural born leader. It's like I'm speaking to a natural born leader who who's smart enough to go within and trust their intuition, build healthy boundaries in place and take all the lessons you've learned in trials and tribulations to step off as you level up, knowing damn well your angels and spirit guides watch over you, keep you safe and your family as well and have that harmonious balance and that harmony in within uh, masculine to feminine. Wow, we're going for a long one today. Another gift of inspiration. Two aces of wands. What is an Ace of Wands? An Ace of Wands is, 
It's like an aha uh -huh of clarity. No, that would be the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Wands would be a aha uh -huh of creative expression. It doesn't mean you're going out to draw pictures and paint in the rain tomorrow. It means like you are coming across something in yourself that, yeah, and like a new adventure that you're experiencing, that you're abundant about and happy and that you would like to hold on to, yeah, and take action with, um, action to king to the queen as well, um, yeah, and don't regret, okay, there's a family there, it's, you worked hard on yourself, some sort of, uh, new beginning there, you know, it's like, um, the ace of wands is like, I see my brilliant future with the roots of my inspiration and creativity as I walk, um, as, as I walk with the seeds of potential and the arrival of inspiration, illuminate intense creativity but it's like the mirror like of consciousness there you go the mirror like of consciousness and what does that mean it means what you put out is what you get back so we put good things out into the universe so therefore they come back to us in theory but we don't ask for them uh we manifest them we put them out to the universe and we just let them come back to us so that's like an aha moment but it's like an aha moment of inspiration rather than clarity of that sword we have balance. Uh, there's not so much balance. Like, it's more um, juggling, I suppose. We've got to be honest about it. Uh, the Two of Pentacles is juggling in itself. Um, but it's, it's a, it may be a need to balance many aspects of life, okay? Especially around family memories. If you're going backwards in your thoughts, uh, thoughts over um, uh, nostalgia, things like that, you may be balancing that out as well and having that and, and having that more of counterbalance of dualities of life and creating an equilibrium in your life that allows you to be the best version of you. Yeah. Um, and the ups and downs of life with grace, yeah, equilibrium, especially with that at top. That's what that says. Because look, we have the masculine and feminine balances there of that harmony within the thing. And then look, we come straight down again. It's like spirit putting double emphasis on the fact of a needing to balance many aspects of life, but adapting to the inconsistent circumstances of life, the many ups and downs, but having grace about it. Yeah. And, and equilibrium and seeking harmony because life in itself is, um, it's not a perfect place. It's not a perfect place. You have to protect your energy. Here it is again. You have to protect that energy. Yeah. Um, people come along and steal it and they'll think that it's okay to do so. Well, unfortunately, it's not, yeah? You just want to have smiles and, and good times in life. But not every day can smile and have the best... The best part about the bad days is they allow us to appreciate the good ones. Boom. Abundance. Somebody's abundant. Boom. Going to come with waters. Because it also goes from that five of wands to the six. And we got three of cups of a happy abundance coming in in itself. And maybe that's what the equilibrium is. Um, that's going to balance that out because spirit's trying to pull you in some sort of direction because it leads now to that learning of the lessons and trials and tribulations of life and how we adapt and have that time to ourselves is what I want to say. No, spiritually time to yourself. Like, cause if it, if you, if you're protecting your energy is protecting it spiritually. Um, and then that's time for yourself. You would need time and want to grow in life and remain relatively the same at the same time. Let's come back out again. Let's have a look at it in two different ways, side by side. Got a sun in the background and sun is positivity. That is a beautiful angel that watches over you, keeps you safe. See, as you go journey, journey through your planet and your time here. Uh, one foot on the land, one foot in the water, which shows um, an equal balance of emotion. As he blends those energies of masculine to feminine and blends that harmony and that harmony in itself, especially around family and having that spiritual connection uh, with the divine, the divine source with yourself. Okay, everybody um, wants these beautiful connections, but they don't understand you go within and then create that beautiful harmony, harmony for yourself. And then you're able to step off in those new relationships and things like that or in any type of friendship, not bringing in old stuff and, and, and being able to step off in the right direction. Legacy. The Ten of Pentacles is a beautiful card to have. Okay, we just come from equilibrium and balancing our energies and then straight to the Ten of Pentacles, which is spiritual material abundance and community, generosity. I'm talking to a very generous soul, especially Taurus. Uh, wealth and prosperity, building that legacy, conventional ideas of wealth and money, but very positive outcomes. That's 
what that means is a positive outcome. I am successful and I share my wealth and enjoy with those I love. And we we're just talking about that blending those energies before it. Above it is the final push um, with that nine of wands of protecting that energy, uh, protecting your boundaries, especially from sadness and wallowing, self-pity, things that can pull us back down. But wants to put action on uh, making sure that there's no pity and self following because that is good news coming. So when the good news comes in, we want to be ready to step off on the right foot using our inspiration, our logic, and our psychic abilities. Um, and literally here's here again, yeah. And if you didn't believe that one as the three of wands in a completely different deck, there it is there in page energy showing light bulb moment as we've got to try and remain as balanced as we potentially can and learn for our life. And please pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. They are signs from the university. Empress. Uh, we go straight under the Ace of Wands. So it's going to go long. It goes sort of as long as it goes. Oh, let's come back out again. Conflict in itself, okay? One thing I wanted, I, I um, want to show you about this. I was staring at this card, meditating on it last night. Those cards go too. I'll come back to that. What I was about to say in here itself. See them? They're both fives. Change in in numerology in itself. Yeah, change and, and adventure, life experience. Okay, so this is life experience, and it's changing that life experience. We have hollow victories, we have teasing, we have gossip, we have bad things here in the way of uh, verbal, abusive things. Uh, right here, we've got a person walking past, a person crying, while a person is snickering, waiting to see if their spell work has been done. Now, what is spell work? A spell work is somebody sitting there going, uh, saying horrible things about you, that's just not true, yeah? That's gossip, yeah? And therefore, that gives them the hollow victory, which lets them walk away from a situation going, yeah, yeah, see, I'm cool, yeah, but it's not the way it works, is it? You don't tell lies, and we don't trick people out of deceiving, we allow people to have their own thoughts in life, okay? And that is the conflict, because there's the conflict in itself. Um, and that's the battling of good and evil. Okay, now I want to bring this card back. I was meditating looking at this card last night. Now, one thing I want to show you is yes, they are all fighting in the card. They're fighting, and that's what that card symbolizes is competition, fighting um, in itself. But I want you to pay attention to this guy right here. He's got his he he's got his arm up, see his inspiration up there, that one wand, it's like up in the air like that. Um, so he's not really fighting, is he? But if you have a look really closely, he's smiling. All the rest are fighting. So it can be conflict, it can be um, leveling up in itself, but we don't allow this sort of energy in our lives because of that two, 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 two. So pay attention to the synchronicities. Two, 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 that's four, two. So that gives us um, stop worrying. Everything is working out just as it's supposed to be and trust that you're on the right path at the present moment. At two, three, four, two, two, three, four, it shows the trajectory of life. But yeah, we're going in hermiting and going within to stop this sort of stuff, see? That's what Spirit's trying to say with that five of, um, this is going to shock you what I'm about to say, um, that five of wands there, which is that conflict, okay, and then the five of hollow gossips and things like that, what's trying to come out here? Not shining armor, it's going to shock you. Okay, that's what this is, okay? It's drawn, okay, from a long, long time ago of being stabbed in the back, but it's been taken out of context. If you have a look, he's got the international sign for peace on his fingers too, as he's holding his fingers up in peace sign there. Um, this is the worst and ultimate end betrayals, okay? But it's endings to that, because tens of completion, which bring you back around to the new beginning. You can't get any worse than the nine, which is depression, horrible nights, sleepless nights, eight is tied up, seven is uh, trickery, deception, thieves, fives, so on, so on. I've already explained it. But that the ten, you completed, and you're able to come and enjoy the fruits of, fruits of the labors of life in itself, yeah? Joy and happiness and positivity and embracing your abundance and trying to get that abundance and having those victories in life. We'll come back to the king to the queen. We've got a king to the queen collaboration. And we also got the knight in shining arm of love. That's shocking for somebody. But yeah, the turn of um, swords is completions to that. And maybe that's what you're going within about because above that is hermiting and pulling yourself away so you can think in some sort of ways. Um, Endings, rebirths, give transformations. And if that doesn't scream transformations in the way that Spirit gave us those cards, um, that should release you from your mind in some sort of way. That's 
it's got to be the best way to do it. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords is like the completion to that. So the painful crisis of over. Those scars that he had in his back after he pulls all those swords out, they turn into scars. That's character, personality, and they give you things to know that you've been places in life, yeah? Um, and that's the rebirth um, and the transition of that rebirth, okay? Um because that's transformation in itself, yeah? Trust your intuition at the present moment. It's on fire. Have healthy boundaries. What's trying to come there? And there's clarity for somewhere. One of the spirit wanted that um, boundaries to come out first, but it's also the final push, but then the clarity to come around to free somebody up from their mind. We've got one more deck. Um, it's a long one today. Everybody else's readings only went for like 15 to 20 minutes for some reason. It was going long. Um, okay, we're going straight on the Temperance Angel and, jug and the Balance. Somebody's learning something. That's the page of uh, voices, pages of um, messengers in themselves. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Um, and that's learning. It's lovely learning. Look how cool she is in the picture. See how she's cool and she's dancing all around her thoughts. It's like dancing in her mind, like having a cool little time, yeah? Um, and there's a celebration. She's dancing with a celebration because the Four of Wands is party time, uh, celebration, marriage, things like that. But it's also completions, finish time, and the gift of abundance above it. You're like a manifesting beast. It's like if you want to manifest anything at the moment with this, um, or using all the elements of the universe, that is bender energy, um, you're able to do it. Spirit's going to pull you in that right direction because they're trying to pull you away from some sort of conflict or some sort of competition in some sort of way but it gives you that new birth of the temperance angel there uh we've got some sort of rebeginning because i was talking about the rebirth of that new page of pentacles energy of there, trials and tribulations i'm speeding it up a little bit uh that temperance um angel there which is a blending of energies which gives you the transformation of that moth there um and what is a moth but a butterfly it's just a night butterfly yeah we're now leading into that healthy boundaries um, around family and legacy um and we just have release but this is also a matter of perspective see that's what it is. That's what that is. It just the hanged man is, in itself is um, a perspective, a perspective change. It can also be enlightenment. Maybe you're being enlightened about something at the present moment, but it's it's mainly perspective. Um, you can see that it's surrendering to the will of the cosmos as well, um, and hermiting as it goes into hermiting above it uh, with the conflict as well. Um, it's fated. Something is fated for you to think and release something, okay? Because we do have the hanging ears here, which is embracing the new, realigning with your heart and purpose, new wisdom, spiritual teaching, enlightenment, acceptance, um, and an international pause. It's reflection, letting go, but it's also a matter of I lean into my own world with limitless miracles, okay? And it's just a matter of perspective. I'm um, going to go three more cuts today. Hope you have a lovely day. I hope you like my reading. Um, but we're about to go to this one. Ooh, two cards came out at the same time. Shocking. There's a wish. You made a wish. She is hope. She is hope. Okay, so you can't have a horrible tower moment at the same time. But if you see the way I was explaining it, the tower in itself is a download. Okay, it's the, tra it's the foundations changed. Okay, it's like a wish that you made in itself is about to change and rock the foundations. And it's like you're fighting that conflict, especially up around that third eye as we come across the hermiting. It's definitely thinking, and that is inspiration for somebody right there. Um, the painful endings are over. So if we were worried about that, because it did come out before when um, it was time to protect that energy, especially around a broken heart um, and around trickery, it's time to let that go. It's fated. Whatever's supposed to come is fated, and that should shock somebody. Um, and it's definitely for a priestess or high priestess with memories. We're going to create their memories and free up that mind because at the end of both these decks, we got these two cards. Okay, and it's also I want to put emphasis on that again, as this was the first card out here for somebody to learn at the present moment to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities, um, and they can lead you to the best things in life. And there are also our ways to show um, spirit that you're listening as well and that you're able to take on the knowledge that they give you so you can step to the next level and keep leveling up and deep downloads, 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 downloads and get those downloads in so that way we can learn and become the best people that we um, are. Taurus, what a beautiful reading. We well, you have a lovely, beautiful day. Just always remember that your angels are watching over you, keeping you safe. Uh, There's triple emphasis on that. Um, some sort of perspective change, but man, you've got boundaries in place. You you will pull yourself out of anything. And if, if anything, you're a magi master magician. So the spirit will always pull you out of something and, and always, get, always, always, always trust your intuition and look up. Have a lovely day and take care.